In this video, we're going to look at solving linear inequalities involving addition or subtraction. If the inequality does not have any multiplication being done to the variable, the work that you do is really going to be exactly like you would do if you were just solving a linear equation. So, to solve this equation, x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 1, I would need to subtract 3 from both sides of this inequality. threes cancel out and you have x on the left. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So our solution is all the values for x that are greater than or equal to negative, t, negative 2. Uh, oftentimes uh, you'll be asked to graph these solutions and the way you would do that would be use a number line. I typically mark 0 so we have some sort of a reference and negative 2. All right, and this says x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So we need all the values to be graphed that are larger than negative 2. So our graph is going to start here and include all of the points to the right of negative 2 or bigger. So negative 1, 0, 1, the point all the way over here, 10, that is bigger than negative 2. It satisfies this uh, inequality, which means it makes this inequality true. So any of the points to the right on the number line or larger than negative 2 make this true. Now we also have to consider this equal to part. Uh, that means that negative 2, the point negative 2, or the value for x negative 2, makes this true. Negative 2 is equal to negative 2. So I want to make sure that gets included in the graph. And the way that you indicate that it's included is by shading in the circle. If you leave it unshaded, you're indicating that negative 2 doesn't work. And we'll look at that in the second example when you leave it unshaded. So the first step in solving this inequality, which only involves addition or subtraction, is to work as if we're dealing with an equation, and that would be subtract 3 from both sides, and end up with x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and then to graph it. In the second example, we have x minus 5 is less than 12. To solve this, again, we're going to work and treat it as if we're working with an equation, uh, and solve that way. So, instead of subtracting 5, the opposite of subtracting 5 is to add 5, Whatever you do to one side of the inequality, you need to do to the other. So our solutions for x are all the values that are less than 17. And we graph this on a number line. So 17, I'm marking with that circle. And then I need to choose the points that are less than 17. If I were to choose the point 0, 0 is less than 17, so I'm shading towards that 0. 0 is a, a solution. Yeah, about here would maybe be about 10. 10 is less than 17. It's a solution. So we're shading all of these values that are less than 17. Now I'm leaving it open to indicate that this is not a part of the solution. 17 does not make this true. 17 is not less than 17, so we are not going to shade that in. All right, so when you see the equal to, you're going to remember to shade the circle. When you do not have the equal to, it's just a less than or a greater than, you do not shade. All right, that's solving linear inequalities involving addition or subtraction. The next video I'll post will show you how to solve linear equations that involve multiplication and division, where there is one little part that gets a little different than just solving a typical equation.